All right, like so Mr. Fans, another re-review from my previous channel, Pulse. Let's check it out. It's one in the morning. Bill and Ellen here are ruckus. Sounds like the crazy guy next door. Now, he'd never been crazy before, but... Something's clearly going on. When the cops come to investigate, the house is a mess. And ultimately, they find a body. Fast forward a bit, Bill and Ellen have picked up Bill's son, David. He's been staying with his mom in Colorado. They're divorced. What are you doing? Visiting dad this week. That's Joey Lawrence. So he moves in with them. I think he's staying for a few weeks, a month, who knows. And there's some sizzling going on up on their roof. And some weird electrical things start to happen in the house. Like the TV's getting weird. Things are sizzling. Seems like a haunted electrical current, to it, if you ask me. Damone! Did you get a look at the back of that thing when I had it off? I mean, you got enough chips in there to send a spaceship to Saturn. Little what? kid in the neighborhood. Man, that was bad. It's Matthew Lawrence, Joey's little brother. One day we were all around at the school. We started here off as yelling and screaming. Police came in the ambulance. And nobody knew what happened. Some of the kids said he must be murdered. David wants to go home to mom. David decides to break into that house where the crazy guy died. He runs into this guy, tells him a story about the wires. See? He doesn't want to go in his own house anymore. But of course he does stay and then things continue to get weird in the house. Electrically wise. Decides to take a shower. And she's starting to get a little leery about electrical stuff too. 
things start happening to dad. And then hot water starts coming out of that shower. Dylan did to try to rescue her. Which they do. But she's got a little burn. They take her to the hospital. She'll be okay. In the meantime, they come back home to their haunted electrical house. The crazy shit starts happening again. It's time to build in the basement. So they're both trapped in the house, both trying to get out, separated from each other. I don't think up is the way to go. And then we have chaos. Fiery electrical chaos. The two of them do get together and eventually force themselves out of that place. Well, all the neighbors watched it happen. Dad then decides to take out his frustrations on the telephone pole. The police show up and make him stop, but he got enough of it. House essentially melts. Perhaps taking the haunt and current with it. Cops take him away. That was your house that you just wrecked, wasn't it? Yes. It was, yes. We're not supposed to be crazy. Yes, we are. We're both of us. We are. Aren't we? We're crazy. <laughs> yep. That's our film. All right, let's talk about this movie, Pulse. I think I've seen this movie twice before. Um, stars Joey Lawrence. I think he was on, was he on that TV show, Give Me a Break? I can't remember. His little brother, uh, Matthew Lawrence, is in this movie, too. He plays uh, another kid in the neighborhood uh, named Stevie, I think. So anyway, the movie is about uh, Joey Lawrence. He lives in Colorado with his mom, but he's visiting his dad, who other parents are divorced. His dad is, I think she's remarried, yeah. And uh, I'm actually not sure where he is. A different part of the country, though. I think he's in maybe New York. I don't know where the hell he is, but whatever. So anyway, um, prior to him coming to visit his dad, a neighbor of his dad uh, went crazy and, like, uh, just went crazy at, at his house. I can't remember if he killed somebody or not or killed himself, but whatever it is, places, he went crazy. Um, and now Joey's moving in, or whatever his name is in this movie, I don't know. But anyway, he moves in with his dad, and uh, things are a little bit weird. He's not overly comfortable there, and uh, he, he misses his dad, but he's maybe a little bit icy towards his stepmom. Um, a little bit, maybe. But anyway, he's more comfortable in Colorado with his mom, that's for sure. Anyway, some strange things start happening at the house. Some electrical currents are, like, pulsing, you know, and, and weirdness is happening, you know, uh... Like, things are turning on and off by themselves, like the garbage disposal or whatever. Now, uh, the house where that crazy guy lived, uh, uh, Joey goes to, I keep saying Joey, whatever the hell his name is. He goes to explore the house at one point, and, the, and this old guy pops out of the ceiling and says, you know, what are you doing here, this kind of thing. And then he kind of scares him a little bit by telling him a story about the crazy guy who used to live there. And then uh, the stepmom goes to talk to that same guy, and he basically tells her the same story, too, uh, about something going on, pulses and craziness. So what's happening is uh, there is, uh, for lack of a better term, a haunted electrical current 
that is flowing through this neighborhood. It made the first guy go crazy and kind of destroyed the place. And now it's got into Joey Lawrence's house and it's making things go haywire there too. Uh, the stepmom at one point takes a shower. She's played by Roxanne Hart, by the way. Uh, Cliff B. Young is the father. He always reminded me a little bit of Wings Hauser. Um, so what I mean, the stepmom's taking a shower. Suddenly the water gets super hot and she gets stuck in there. She can't get out. She ends up getting, you know, burns all over her body. So she has to go to the doctor and we don't see her, I think, for the rest of the movie. But she's going to be fine. But she's in the hospital. Uh, Joey Lawrence is, wants out of this house. He thinks something's wrong with it. He's been trying to tell his dad that something screw is going on. Uh, nobody really believes in them because it would be crazy. But yeah, there's like this haunted electrical current going on in the house. Eventually, uh, dad gets hurt in the basement. And, like this glass shard hit him in the head. And then he kind of figures out what's going on eventually. And then the movie kind of ends with him outside taking an ax to the local telephone pole, trying to knock it down. The police come and try to get him to stop, which he does. Uh, but he, I guess, chopped just enough where the thing crashed. And uh, the movie ends with Joey Lawrence and his dad in a car being taken by the police to the police station, probably. And the guy's like, the cop's like, what are you guys, crazy or what? And, uh, you know, he and his dad are both like, yep, we're crazy, we're crazy. But they're actually the sane ones. They don't realize, those cops, that there was a haunted electrical current going on through the neighborhood and they just stopped it. That's Pulse. So there you go. Strange little film. You know, I read a little review about this film that said, you know, a lot of the uh, better horror movies take something uh, like an inanimate object, like a, like a doll or a book or something, and make it creepy and haunted. That's kind of what this movie did, except there's not a tangible object that we can see. All we see is a, uh, uh, or we don't see it at all. We, uh, it's an electrical current, <laughs> so we don't really see what our haunted thing is. But the movie itself, yeah, it's okay. It's 90 minutes long. Uh, there's no nudity in it. A um, little bit of violence, not much there even. Um, but it's a good time waster for 90 minutes. It moves pretty quickly and the acting is decent enough and it's entertaining it won't it won't bore you put it that way so that's pretty much all i gotta say about pulse so i don't know if this had a dvd release i think this got a brand new blu-ray release uh, like 2016 or 2017 something like that and i got it brand new and i think i only paid like five six bucks for it, it was really cheap so i imagine it's still probably just as cheap but i don't know i'll leave a link to amazon if you're looking for it and i guess i'll find out when you click that so or you will too. So anyway, check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Pulse. Watch it. Bye.